Hey, Richard Beach here from SonicState.com. I'm at the 65 Amps booth at NAMM 2014 with Dan, Mr. 65 Amps. Hey, Rich. And uh, we've got something I've been incredibly excited about, the new whiskey amp from 65. So uh, can you tell us all about it? Well, it's a long story, but <laughs> short. When I was a young man in Los Angeles, I used to play on the Sunset Strip, and there were a lot of really cool sounds. And before the Uber Gain amps came out, there was a big industry of hot-rodding marshals. So the guy across the aisle here, Reinhold Bogner, actually modded a Marshall for me in 1987. And there's just a cool sound, and a lot of guys have been asking me to get that. So we try to do it in a smaller package that's a little more functional than the old hot-rodded Marshall and a whole lot safer, but still has the same footprint and the same sort of authority. And it's a forgiving amp, and it encourages you to kind of take chances and shred a little bit. But the thing that we're doing different is we actually have a viable clean sound that you can add on top of it. So it makes it a little more functional for the modern player. And you know, showing my age, now the sound from 1987 is considered retro. So this is a vintage amp <laughs> that I'm doing. Um, so the clean tone on here is bypassing the master knob, is that right? Exactly, yeah, we just go completely around the master circuit. So the clean channel is just a gain stage into a cathode follower into the phase inverter, just classic old straight American circuit. So you get a really nice, big, warm, clean sound. It's a very surprising sound when you're playing something that's sort of a martial platform like this. It's quite a, it's quite a contrast. Okay, great. Well, um, let's hear a bit of it in action, I think. All right. Well, this was the sound when I was a kid that everybody wanted. <laughs> I think that's the sound that everybody still wants <laughs> now. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear that, actually. That's exactly what I was about to say. Yeah. Well, um, if you can see, the master is only a little over two right now. So we're not pushing the amp. But the second knob there is the gain for this channel. So we're killing the preamp pretty hard. And you can see the first knob all the way to the right is the clean volume, uh, which is completely independent of the rest. So we can actually turn the clean sound up a little bit and get it louder. And you get a really nice... Since we're doing this with six L6s, you get a really nice... expect that out of a hot rodded Marshall right. you know so we try to you know as with all of our products we try to do something that's a little more practical a little more functional um, also in the back we have Dave Friedman's you know, like buffered FET driven loop and so with this much gain I can't really get away with the passive loop that we do in our other amps so it's considered to be the you know the, the industry highest quality loop that's around and we, we license that from Dave Friedman and it's fantastic so we've got a very high functioning amp here and we're just going through the little 112 right now because this amp moves a lot of air. And uh, you were telling me just off camera earlier that you may or may not have taken an adult learning class. Yes, I uh, did, I did. Yes, I, I, I took an adult education class and I wanted to learn about acoustic dynamics, like why do cabinets sound the way they do, how does moving air and air pressure and, and all those sorts of things um, affect sound, because I wanted to make a little cabinet that sounded big. So from what little I learned, the, the math on this little cabinet, it, it's supposed to act and react and compress like a 412. And it kind of does. I mean, you've heard this amp through our 212 and that, and this actually feels and sounds like a little 412. So it makes it fun, because a lot of guys now don't want big amps. They just want big sound. Yeah. Um, so when is the, uh, the whiskey going to be available? What's the suggested retail price on it? Uh, US list is 2695. I think that's about 1900 pounds or something like that. Yep. And uh, we will have them available first week in March, so a little over five weeks. Okay, great. There, we're actually waiting on transformers. They're all being made. We just don't have all the transformers right. yet. So. Uh, so I think probably just before we finish, uh, everybody at home wants to hear it. High gain, Dan Ball just oh, playing no, us out. Yeah. It's not even my thing anymore, to be honest. It's, uh, but it sure is a lot of fun. Oh, look, there's females at NAMM. <laughs>
As always, a complete pleasure, Dan. Oh, uh, thank you, Rich. And thanks for watching at home, guys. More guitar videos on sonicstate.com forward slash amped. And make sure you follow our live blog with live updates throughout the day, every day at NAM 2014. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you.